Hey guys, it's me, Iron Upcake, and I am here to continue the walkthrough for Amnesia the Dark Descent. The first video, as stated in the previous video, was meant to be an introduction to the game, the walkthrough, and to myself. So this is going to move a lot quicker. I'm going to show you how to get through each area. I will try to, along the way, show you where the tinder boxes and oil and laudanum and that stuff are. No promises that I will be able to get them all, but I'll show you most of them. And without further ado, let's clear the archives. I'm going to start off, go in this room right over here. There's a little letter from Daniel. I, Like I said, I highly suggest listening to all of the audio diaries. So don't skip them like I did. I'm just trying to save time in the video. I swear there was a tinderbox or something in this room, but it looks like I was wrong. Well, we don't need to go over there yet. We'll come in here. There's another note. Not an audio diary, but I had to know. Got a tinderbox in there. There's nothing in the other drawers. Cut on my lantern. Keep the vision nice and steady. I could go straight that way. I don't really need to right now. I'm gonna go in here. You hear a lovely little brute off in the distance. Uh, into that. Another audio diary. I don't believe there's anything in any of those other drawers, so I'm not even gonna bother checking. This, if you pick it up, it explodes. So, be prepared for that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yay, this book fell. Must be a demon. Tinder box. Piano plays in the background. Doo -doo -doo. Got a tinder box and oil in there. Um, the entire first part of the archives is just collection. The big thing is this door right here. It's locked. We can't get in. Gas. Oh, look, nobody's at the piano. And now we hear a grunt growling, but do not worry, you will not attack us. In the game there are two kinds of grunt, well really there are two kinds of encounters. Um, ooh, a tinderbox. Um, there are two kinds of encounters. There are real encounters and there are cinematic encounters. Um, cinematic encounters do not hurt you, normally they're entirely fake. Like, even if you run towards the monsters. They will not hurt you. That triggers a little flashback. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble when there's a risk they bring people caved in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. By the way, it's kind of obvious, but I've decided that I'm just not going to talk during the flashback, so you don't have to hear me talking while other people are talking. Um, that rock slide you just heard prevents you from going back the other way. And this right here... There are some loose bricks. Now, you can either click them several times to break them or throw something at them, but before we advance, we're going to get this note right here, which starts a vivid flashback where we actually have to do something. 17th May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. 
The faint glow escaped from my head. fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. And then it blinds you. Alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Well, like I said, we're gonna break this with a rock instead of clicking it a thousand times. Yeah. Here we are. Another flashback. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Okay. Now. We are on the other side of the locked door. Let me pick up that oil right there, and as you hear, there's some sort of mechanism that unlocks something. It's these books. There are three that stick out, right there, right there, and right here. When you pull them all, it moves this bookshelf, unlocking a secret room with a little cupboard, nothing in it. Um, desk that. There's a little note. Not an audio diary, not as important. Now, this is one of the triggers where you pick up an item and something happens. When I pick up this key, we're going to hear a monster growl, and the lot door is going to be thrown open by a, a monster, though the monster will not attack us. Now, this is as good a time as any to introduce you to hiding. A lot of the times, when there's a monster, you're going to want to hide. Uh, one of the best places to hide is in a closet. Always cut off your lantern. Crouching also, according to the game, makes you more hidden, no matter the circumstances. So, crouching, hiding behind stuff, never look at monsters. It will drain your sanity and make you be noticed. Now, like I said, this case, he doesn't attack us anyway. Now... When we go out here, there is a cinematic encounter with him. When we walk a little farther forward, we're going to hear a noise, and we look at the right, and we're going to see him walking away. So, there he is. Now, if I run after him, nothing's going to happen. But the idea is you do that and get so scared that you run all the way down here, and then it triggers something else. This one, who disappears. Be prepared. Neither of those are dangerous encounters. Um, however, if you trigger them, your sanity does get a little lower, so be careful. Um, also, remember, don't waste your lantern too much. It is very, very important to save it or for only when you need it. Now, again, grunts are going to growl all the time, but they're only dangerous in some parts of the game. And there we go. We are done with the archives. Um, now, this, as you can see, is some of that red fleshy stuff that the shadow creates. Again, touching it hurts you. Didn't hurt too bad there. But um, we will eventually get something called laudanum that allows us to effectively be healed. It's a medical bracer used in the game for healing purposes. Um... That key we picked up, I don't know if you noticed, but it's the wine cellar key. Because, as I said earlier, it's locked right now. And, try to open it. it. Says you need to use the key on it. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock that. And I am going to go ahead and end this video here. I'm gonna try to upload them so I beat sections that are very relevant to each other. So, beat the archives. And there we go. Um, in the next section, I will probably just go ahead and beat the entire rest of the area because it's pretty short once you beat the wine cellar. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share, do other stuff. Remember, you might get a cookie from a stranger. So, bye guys.